From the beautiful tile ceilings to the elegant black and white walls to the roomy showers and bathrooms, the Beard and Lady Inn is a few steps closer to creating and sharing wonderful experiences with the community. Welcome back to the Beard and Lady Inn. I am thrilled to get to show you a little bit of a glimpse of the bathroom renovations that we have going on in the building. Definitely one of the other bigger challenges that we faced considering we only had four rooms that were designated as bathrooms when we bought the building and had done a lot of deliberation on if we were going to um, have individual bathrooms for each bedroom or if we would try to utilize the four bathrooms that we currently had and that's the, the route we decided to take. Um, going into all of the plumbing is on the right side of the building so very interesting of what we had to work with and trying to get into the left side which where most, most of the bedrooms are located we would have been tearing out a lot of the wood and into the walls and would have messed up that um, the historical value and integrity of the building. So we had four big, big rooms to work with. We reconfigured the plumbing where it was not on top of the ground. Uh, originally, I think we might have some photos where it was a step up here and a step down here. And so all of that has been put into the floor and we have built um, three showers in this room. There's three toilets on the other side and another three showers, another three toilets, and then we have one master suite bathroom that we're really excited about for a honeymoon suite. So you, there is one room that you can rent and would have a full um, master suite with a clawfoot tub and a shower as well. So what we're looking at right here is um, three beautiful showers. Tiling will be starting in about a week, which I'm super excited to um, get into some of those tiling patterns and paint is going on walls. So hopefully next time when you check in with us, you'll kind of see that huge transformation that we've got going on. Um, I'm, we're gonna move on to another room where I'll show you what we've got going with the historic wood windows that are being replaced. So there are over 40 windows in the building. All of them have to be wood and all of them have to be double hung as they had been originally. And so that has been um, an exciting thing for me because I really love the, what the windows bring to the value of this building and some of their purposes that a lot of that has been lost since we have you know, modern AC now. Let's go talk about that. This building actually has over 40 different windows um, and we are replacing all of them. And to do that, they all have to go back to the original um, design and wood. So this is one of the wood frames of our windows. This is a double hung sash window. I, I'm super thrilled to be able to bring this look back to the building and also just the quality that, we'll, that each room will have. So something really cool about the double hung sash windows that we don't usually utilize in this modern age is that they were designed that the top part would slide down and the bottom part would also slide down and they were operated with a pulley weight system so it'd be easy operating up and down. And in the springtime and the fall time when things would get a little bit warmer, people would lower the window at the top part about this much and then also from here would raise it up. What that would do was create a wind um, circulation cycle, and then from there, there would be a transom window, which is the window above a doorway. I'll point that out in a second. And that would create an entire circulation through the, the whole building to give um, a breeze and a cool airflow through the building. And that's how they operated without um, HVAC for you know obviously years and years and years. I, I've actually stayed in the building uh, when we first got here it, through the springtime and that's exactly what I did with the windows was raise that top part and the lower part and open the transom and had the same effect. So still going today, that, that simple technology that kept people cool throughout history which is really cool. So I'm really excited to be able to bring these wood windows back to our guest. So we're back down in the kitchen and I am super excited to show you uh, our new tin tile ceiling it has that wow factor to it. I think I mentioned on one of our previous um, segments that we were just beginning to install and I was getting really excited about it, but the whole thing's been complete and I cannot wait to show you what we've got. 
Just wanted to say thank you so much for visiting us again and checking in on our progress here. I probably say it every single time, but I cannot wait till we get to welcome guests here in Chester and get to know everyone and really have a, a business that serves this community. Thank you so much.